if the intellect, mind, and senses are restless or heavy with desire or attachment, all this wanting, that light cannot be perceived. You know, that light that is your higher wisdom about you know, whether or not it is good for you to have that orange. We make choices then if we cannot access that, if, if buddhi is not being illumined by the soul, by the self, by that light, and is obscured by the attachment that's coming from the other direction, these seats of desire, then we make choices that are not consistent with our highest good. That's how it happens. That's how we get derailed. And some of us, you know, who practice yoga, forget about the power of the senses. You know, we're used to studying the mind. We're more aware of the power of the mind, how desire is seated there and reveals itself in thought and motivation. So we're students of studying how the mind works, 